Okay, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We'll continue doing these problems. Now I have that this dx over x. Okay, and have it that from what? From 4 to 9. Okay, what I will do, I will let u equal square root of x. So we have u squared equal x. And I have 2u du equal to x. Okay, what I will have? This is 2u du. This is u squared. This is 2 minus 1. And the integral from where? From 2 to 3. Okay. So this u cancel with this. So I have integral of the 2 to 3, 2 du over u, u minus 1, which is very clear partial fraction. A over u plus b over u minus 1 du from 2 to 3. What will be a? Cover this, substituted by 0. That will be minus 2. What will be b? Cover this, substitute by 1. I get 2. So it will be minus 2, ln of u plus 2. Then u minus 1. From where to where? From 2 to 3. That is what? Minus 2. Then 3. Plus 2. Then 2. First one. Minus. Minus 2. Then 2. Then 1, which is 0. No need. Okay, so I have minus two ln three plus ln four plus ln four. So I have minus two ln three plus two ln four. That give me what? Ln. Take this as a power one over nine plus ln. Take this as a power also, 16. So it's ln 16 over 9. Watch it this. Okay. Sine to x over 1 plus cosine to the power 4. What is the trick here? Yeah. Very clear. If you notice, with that, I told you sometimes you need to do two or one or two steps in your head. Cosine square d will be what? Two cosine x sine x with the minus sign dx. And that is minus sine to x dx. So I need the minus here and the minus outside. And they let you equal this. So I have minus du over 1 plus u squared, which is tan inverse of u plus c. And what is my u? Cosine square x plus c. Yeah, not uh, tricky, but it's okay. Now I have this. How to do that? Yeah, I need to choose a substitution that will kill both this and this. Yeah, fix it the power half, x to the power one over three. How to kill it? I would choose x to be u to the power six. That's the only way. Or in other words, I would choose u x to the power one over six. So that u to the power 6 equal x. I know if you make it to the power 6, it will be killed, and this is also new. So I, I, I kill that. I get rid of the square root and the cubic root with this substitution. So I have 6u to the power 5 du equal dx. Now substitute. I have 6u to the power 5 du over square root of x. u to the power 6, the power half, that would be u cubed. 
u to the power 6 to the power 1 over 3, that will be u squared. Yes. Now I have things ready. Now I can take u squared here. I have u plus 1. OK, so I have 6 u cubed du over u plus 1. This is long division, 6 u cubed over u plus 1. I have what? 6 u squared multiply 6 u cubed plus 6 u squared. This plus minus, this is minus, minus 6 u squared. Divide, that will give me minus 6 u. Multiply, minus 6 u squared minus 6 u plus plus, that will be 6 u plus 6. Multiply, that will be 6 u plus 6. Change the sign. Minus, minus, that is minus 6. So this expression by the long division will be what? 6 u squared minus 6 u plus 6. OK. Minus 6 over u plus 1. All du. Now we do the integration. 6 u squared is what? I have it will be u cubed, 2u cubed, and this is 3u squared plus 6u minus 6 and u plus 1 plus c. Let me tell the u. I have u to the power 1 over 6 with this. That will be u to the power half, so 2 square root of x. This is u to the power 1 over 3 cubic root of x. This one. 6, 6 root of x minus 6, then 1 plus cubic root, 6 root of x plus 3. What is this one? Then the square root x plus 1. How to do that? Hmm. Yeah, it seems I need uh, integration by mark, but first I have this. W equal root x plus 1. So W squared equal x plus 1. So 2 W T W equal dx. Now plug the things. What you have? You have len of W times 2 W D W. So now I need I need by parts. So I have U equal ln w and dv to w dw so v equal w square and here du would be dw over w so this integral will be what w square ln w okay minus integral of w dw that will be w square ln w Minus w squared over 2 plus c. Now retain the w. w is x plus, square root x plus 1. So you have x plus 1. Then square root x plus 1. Which is x plus 1 to the power half. Minus half times x plus 1 plus c. So this half can go back as a power. So this is, will be half as as uh, coefficient here. So half x, then x plus one plus half, then x plus one minus half x minus half plus c. This is I can make it also c. So that will be half x, then x plus one minus half x. Make it the same way. You wrote it plus half then x plus 1 plus c, he called this c. The x over x plus 2 to the power 3 over 2. What I will do, yeah, the square, I have the square root. So I have u square equal x, 2u du equal dx. Plug the numbers, plus the expressions, 2u du, x is u square, plus u cubed. 
Okay, we take u as a common factor. I have two du over u square by tablet. Over what? I took u as a common factor. I have u plus u square. So that's u plus u square. Okay, now I do partial fraction. Very clear, I need partial fraction. That will be a over u, this is u times u plus one, plus b over u plus one, which is easy one. I can use by, by uh, covering, discover this, substitute zero, that will be two. Cover this, substitute minus one, that will be minus two. So I have two, then of u, minus two, then u plus one, plus c, and that will be two, then square root of x, since it's positive, minus two, then one plus square root of x, plus c, which is this. Okay, then over x minus two square, square root four x, minus x square. Yeah, I notice first, this is four x minus x square, it's minus x square minus four x, I add four, this is minus 4, so it means plus 4, minus x minus 2 squared plus 4. So this one is dx over x minus 2 squared, square root 4 minus x minus 2 squared. How to get rid of this square root? I need the sine. So I will make x minus 2 equal to sine theta. So I have 4 sine squared, 4 minus 4 sine squared. I, got, I can get rid of the square root. That will be what? So dx is what? 2 cosine theta d theta. Plug the things. I have 2 cosine theta. 2 cosine theta d theta. Over, what is x minus 1 square? X minus one is X minus two square is what? X minus two square it will be four sine square theta, and this one is two cosine theta d theta. So this is cancelled. So I have one over four cosecant square theta d theta. which is minus one over four cotan theta plus c. Now we do the triangle theta from here. I notice sine theta is x minus two over two. So this is two, this is x minus two, and this is square root four x minus x square. So it will be that, it will be minus one over four. Cotan is what, adjacent? over opposite plus c and that is my answer this one hmm. one over x plus one over square root of x but the complicated one hmm. what i will do let me try to simplify this expression That will be what? The square root, the square root of x plus x over x square root of x, which is what? This is x times x to the power half, x to the power three over two. So you have a square root, square root of x plus x over x to the power three over four. This is my first trick. Okay, and what is this? I can take the square root of x cone factor, What's the remaining? 1 plus the square root of x over x to the power 3 over 4. That will be what? This one is x to the power half, o to the power half, that will be x to the power 1 over 4, square root 1 plus the square root of x over x to the power 3 over 4. Yeah. That will make it what? That would make it, here I have x to the power 2 over 4, which is square root of x, x to the power half. I have here square root 1 plus square root of x. Okay, 
So this expression, I rewrite it. One plus the square root of x over the square root of x dx. I put two, two. Now I let u, one plus the square root of x. What will be du? It will be one over two root x dx. So this is my du. So I'm getting what? Two integral the square root of u du. The square root of, yeah, square root of u du. I took u, one plus the square root of x. This is just calculation. So that will be what? Two, two over three, u to the power three over two plus c, which is four over three. What is u? One plus square root of x to the power three over two plus c. Integral of x, let x all square. X let x all square. Yeah, very clear. This is by parts. This is going to be x square. Let x all square dx. So I let u to be in x all square and dv x squared dx, so what is v? x cubed over 3, and what is du? Be careful, 2, then x times dx, x. So this integral, uv, x cubed over 3, then x all squared, minus which integral? 2 over 3, take it out. I have what? x squared, then x, dx. Um, it's good. Now this is, is better than this. Now we'll do it again. Let u equal then x dv x squared dx. So v equal x cubed over 3 and du will be dx over x. Yeah, be careful with the fractions. 1 over 3 x cubed then x all squared minus 2 over 3 2 over 3 times everything, times x cubed over 3, then x, okay, minus integral, x squared over 3, dx, plus c. Yeah, that'll give me what, 1 over 3, x cubed, then x all squared, minus 2 over 9, x cubed, then x, plus 2 over 9, integral of x squared, which is x cubed over 3. Let's see. That gives me what? 1 over 3, x cubed, then x squared, minus 2 over 9, x cubed, then x, plus 2 over 27, x cubed. Let's see. Second x over 2 plus 10 x. Yeah, you need to use this. Okay, so integral. The first thing you need to make it sine cosine. That will be one of cosine x over two plus sine x over cosine x dx. That will be what? I have one over two cosine plus sine. I get rid of cosine. I have over cosine here, cancel. And that's it. Okay. Now I let u, I let t equal tan x over 2. And I know the rest. That would be what? 2 dt over 1 plus t square over 2, 1 minus u square. Let me do it at one step plus 2 u, 1 plus t square. Cancelled, cancelled. Also the 2 cancelled. We have dt over 1 plus u minus u square. Okay. Is this one reducible? Let me check. B square minus 4ac will be 5 positive. So I can factor this. And what will be the factor? I need to solve this. 1 plus u. Let me take minus common factor. Make it easier. Minus dt 
over u square minus u minus one. This is a can factor u square minus u minus one equals zero. What's it, what are the zeros? U equal minus b one plus or minus square root b square one minus four ac plus four over two. Okay. Yeah, they have x one or u one is one plus one minus. Let me take the minus first. So it's one minus the square root of five over two, and u two one plus square root of five over two. Since they are very complicated, one plus square root of five, something like this. Let me do it with x one, x two. So this one will be minus du. Um, t, I have T, 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 this, all of this is T. Sorry. Uh, I'm used to deal with, with, with you. D1, T2. So this one is DT over T minus T1 times T minus T2, which I can do by partial fraction as what a over t minus t1 plus b over t minus t2 now i need to find a and b okay if i cover this and substitute by t1 i need t1 minus t2 what is t1 minus t2 that would be what one minus the square root of five minus one minus the square root of five over two that will be what minus square root of five. So this is minus square root of five. For B, it will be T T two minus T one. Huh? I cover this and substitute D two, so I have a square root of five. Yeah. So that. No, 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 it's not. It's one over. It's in the denominator, right? Huh? One over square root of five. One over square root of five. This is negative, this is plus, because it, it, they are in the denominator, huh? It's one over T2 minus T1. Okay. T1 minus two, two, T2. Now with T1, let me be sure. I cover this and substitute T1. That will be T1 minus T2. Good, with the minus. Okay, let me take it to the other page, which is now minus one over square root of five over t minus t one, is it? Plus one over square root of five over t minus t two dt. And there is a minus sign outside. There is a minus sign here. So that will be what? That will be one over square root of five ln t minus t one minus one over square root of five ln t minus t two. Actually, he wrote it what minus. So I keep the minus. Yeah, because we're going to write in the same way. He's writing the answer. So this is minus one over square root of five ln t minus t two. Yeah, I'll start with this one. Minus one over square root of five, then t plus t minus t one. Or plus c. So I take minus one over square root of five outside. I have len t minus t two over t minus t one. And what is t plus c? Minus one over square root of five, then t is ten x over two, and t two is one plus the square root of five over two, and this is ten x over two minus t one, which is one minus the square root of five, and that is the answer. It's just partial fraction, but these are not. Um, 
common numbers. These are little bit complicated numbers. I think that's all for the finish 8.7. But now I'm try to go back and do the suggested problems in each section, if time permits. So let me do the first one. This is, uh, I'll go backwards. Or let me start with with uh, with five point five point seven eight point seven I mean okay this is eight point seven so let me do the the problems there okay well this this is for sure it seems to me I'm using the the regular uh, this is t or u i'm using u usually tan x over two and do the substitution and see what will happen to the to the result to the integration okay So this is uh, just the questions which are in this section. Uh, you know, that will be just 55 to 62. Hmm? The rest is just using the form. OK, so what will happen? I have 2 the u over 1 plus u squared over 2 minus 3. This is 2u over 1 plus u square, that will be what? 2 du over 1 plus u square, let me make it bigger, over that 2 plus 2 u square minus 6 u over 1 plus u square. Okay, that will be what? 2 du, this cancelled, over 2 plus 2u squared minus 6u. So I have du over u squared minus 3u plus 1. Okay, I will use the same trick we did here. Okay, so, so I have u squared minus 3u plus 1 is equal to 0. So what will be u1 or u, the answer will be b, 3 plus or minus square root, b square 9 minus 4 over 2. So that will be u1, which is 3 minus square root of 5 over 2, and u2 is 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Since these are not easy numbers, so I will, I will, I will do the same trick. I have du over u minus u1, u minus u2, and that give me a over u minus u1 plus b u minus u2 du. Now I can this substitute. I need u1 minus u2 or, or the other way. I have what? 3 minus square root of 5 minus 3 minus square root of 5. That will be minus square root of 5. This is minus square root of 5, and this is square root of 5. Okay, so I have what? Oh, minus 1 over square root of 5. Yeah, it's in the, in the denominator. So it's minus 1 over square root of 5, and this is 1 over square root of 5. So I have what? I have du will be what? Okay. One over square root of five, then of what? Let me do it in the steps. I have one over square root of five, then u minus u two, Minus 
1 over square root of 5 ln u minus u1 plus c. I can take 1 over square root of 5 cone factor. I take ln u minus u2, which is what? Which is uh, u1 is what? Uh, this is u2, I mean. 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over u minus 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 plus c. I can retain the, the u, which is tan x over 2, have 1 over square root of 5, less than point. I can write it 2u over 2 over 2 cancelled. So I have 2 tan x over 2 minus 3 minus square root of 5. And this is 2 tan x over 2 minus 3 plus the square root of 5 plus c. That will be my answer. Yeah, you understand here I have u equal 1, u, u, u over 1, and this is u over 1. So you have the denominator 2, 2 cancelled, and they have the rest. I think this time we will do it. This one, which I think an easy one, will do the same thing. u equal 10 x over 2. You'll get what? I'm very careful now with the, with the substitution. Then 0 is 0, and this is 1, 5 over 4 which is good, 2 dt du over 1 plus u square over 1 plus 2u over 1 plus u square plus 1 minus u square over 1 plus u square 0 to 1 over 1 plus u square over 1 plus u square plus 2u plus 1 minus u square over 1 plus u square cancelled so this one cancelled, and the remaining is 0 to 1, 2 du over 2, 1 plus u. So I have len 1 plus u from 0 to 1, and that gives me what? Len 2 minus len 1, which is 0. So that will be my answer. For sine theta over 1, Plus cosine theta. Yeah, let me rationalize or multiply by this one minus cosine theta. See what will happen. I have maybe I don't need this uh, u equal tan x over two. This, let us see what will happen over sine square theta. Okay. This one will give me what? theta integral of cosine theta over sine square theta d theta minus cosine square theta over sine square theta d theta okay this is this is what cosine over sine that would be good and 1 over sine, this will be cosine theta over sine theta times 1 over sine theta, which is cotan cosecant, which I know how to integrate. This one is cotan square theta d theta. Hmm. What to do with cotan square? Yeah, cotan square, I can rewrite it as, as cosecant square minus 1, which is I can integrate. So this is will be minus cosecant theta. Okay. Minus integral of this cosecant square theta minus one d theta. This will be what? Minus cosecant theta minus. What's the integral of cosecant square? This is minus cotan minus one minus x plus c. So I have minus cosecant theta minus cosecant theta yes okay plus cotan theta plus x or plus theta but x x comes from there 
plus data plus C. This will be the last one. Just if we change it into sine and cosine, I think you will get everything for D theta. This is one over sine minus cosine over sine. Yeah, I'm done. That will be for sine theta D theta over one minus cosine theta. So just say that U one minus cosine theta, du would be minus minus, that would be sine theta d theta. That's it. So this is my du. So I have four du over u, which is four, then absolute value of u, retain the u, I am done. Okay, that I think will do. Now, I did also the suggested problems for 8.7. If I have time, I'll try to do suggested problems for the other for the other sections. I think now we are done with the material for the for the second exam. Thank you. If, if I have time, I'll try to do the suggested problems for for each section, but 